Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. In this video, I am doing a gorgeous turquoise and copper vase and bowl set. This is one of my favorite color combinations of all time. And to start off with, I am pre-painting part of my silicone mold with some of the copper mica powder. This is polycolor copper mica powder. You can get it from mixedmediagirl.com. And there's no resin in the mold yet. I'm just using a paintbrush and the mica powder to kind of paint on part of my flower design. And this is a silicone mold from Amazon. It's about 14 inches across, and it's one of my current favorite molds to make either trays or bowls from resin. Now, once I was done painting my mica design on there, I put the vase on top of a paint bottle, and I put that in the middle of the mold and began pouring my resin over it. This is Mixed Media Girl Artist Resin, and the colors that I'm using are Polycolor Copper Mica, and then Rondaqua, which is a resin paste that you can get from either RK3 Designs or Artist Till Death. And then I'm using Alumilite White Resin Dye, which you can also get from MixedMediaGirl.com. And you may notice that the vase was already pre-colored um, with resin. And what happened was I did a beautiful design on it and then I accidentally knocked it over. So it had a bunch of spots that were really messed up on it. And so I decided to just go over it again. Now I start off with some larger layers of color and this is just to kind of get it going. And you probably notice I put some clear in there as well. And then I go in there a little more deliberately with my design until I'm happy with the vase. Now I've got the silicone mold underneath there to catch all of the runoff. So I'm not worried about taking my time with this design. And once I was happy with it, I just simply combined the rest of my resin into one cup and poured it directly into the mold. You don't have to keep going over the vase if you're happy with your design. I do like to let it drip for probably about five minutes or so just to get all of the resin off as possible into that silicone mold. And one last note, for this project I'm using about 12 ounces of resin total. The amount of resin you need will depend on the size of your mold and how much resin your mold takes. One other important note is that I'm not filling up my mold completely. If I wanted to make this into a tray, I would fill it up completely, but since I'm making a bowl, I'm only filling it up about halfway, otherwise it will be too thick to make a bowl. I did use a heat gun to quickly get out the air bubbles in my mold and also on the vase, but go very light with the heat on the vase because you do not want all of your resin to run down off of the vase. I then use the heat gun again on the silicone mold and then let it just close up that hole and that's all there is to do at this point in time. From there, I let this sit for about six hours. Now that's gonna depend on the resin you're using and the temperature of your workspace. Oh, I did also spray this with some 91% isopropyl alcohol to help with the air bubbles. But after six hours with this specific resin and in a workspace that's about 70 to 75 degrees, um, it should be very pliable, but not sticky at all. It might be very, very slightly tacky, but it shouldn't be sticky at all. It should be able to come out of your mold very easily. Now I'm using a plastic bowl. This bowl is about 100 ounces and it's about 11 inches across. I put my resin inside and then I mold it how I like. You can absolutely drape it over the outside if you like and you can use various shapes and sizes of bowls. It's totally up to you, whatever is your personal preference. This is just how I like to do it and I like to shape it and kind of give the edges a ripply look. Once I'm done with my design on the bowl, I put a silicone mat in there and then I put a bottle of resin just to weigh it down so that it's, you know, can cure just fine and there is not an issue. Let that cure for at least 24 hours and then you can go ahead and pop it out of that bowl. It should come out very easily 
you see I have no issues here if you put it in too early when your resin is still sticky it might you might have a little more of an issue popping it out but normally it should come out just fine now to finish the edges on the bowl I like to use a Dremel I got this one from Amazon it just makes it really easy to clean up that edge and the only reason you need to do this is if it's a little bit sharp which sometimes it is when you pull it out of that silicone mold so this Dremel just makes it really quick and easy to go around the whole edge and make it nice and smooth sometimes people worry that doing something like this will ruin the shine of it but it really won't trust me you will not notice it if you don't have a Dremel you could use just sandpaper you could also use a deburring tool or whatever you wish I just find the Dremel to be quite easy now on the vase I typically actually leave the drips I like how it looks personally but on this one I decided to sand them off I was going for a very specific look so I decided to use my orbital sander you could use the Dremel but it's much easier to use this or to hand sand it to get a nice even top on your vase start off with a rougher sandpaper maybe something in between like 1 and 200 and then you can go up to 220 or 320 something like that to make it nice and smooth and on this you can really do it as much or as little as you want it's totally up to you so here's how it looked after I smoothed it out and I got it I got it pretty nice and smooth and then I took an oil paint marker and this is a copper oil paint marker I got from Blix and I actually took my bowl into the store and I picked out a marker that matched it the best I like to use oil paint for this you could go ahead and use an acrylic paint marker if you'd like but I find the oil to be shinier and to adhere to the resin better. It really sticks very well and does not just wash off. Although pro tip, if you do accidentally mess up and put marker where you don't want it, you can get it off with some isopropyl alcohol. So I just painted the rim on my vase and on my bowl with this marker, which I think really made those colors pop. And on this, as with everything, you can do as much or as little as you'd like, or you can completely skip this step. You don't have to color the rim at all if you don't want to. I usually don't, but on this one, I decided it would just look awesome. So I did. And here is how the bowl and the vase look completely done. I think these are just both gorgeous. And of course you can use any colors that you like. You can use any shape vase that you like. You can use any silicone mold that you like. Make it however you like. It's totally up to you. These are definitely one of my most <laughs> favorite ones that I've done recently. And I just love making these. I could make them all day long. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you have any questions down in the comments and I'll see you all next time.